What's poppin', y'all? This is Deidre with One Shot Game, man. You already know how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to learn all the game you need to help improve your life. The choice is yours on which direction you want to go. Do you see fit for yourself? You know what I'm saying? Oftentimes, people really do get tired of being their old selves, but they just don't want to do what it takes to become the new version of who they are. You got to want it. You know what I'm saying? So listen, before I get into the title of my video, I want to say a big shout out to all my supporters. You guys are great. So look, I've done a ton of uploads, but they will not be released until tomorrow. Um, this video is really going to be on the topic of... It's, it's now time, you feel me, that people stop being so damn quiet. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of those people that grew up quiet because it was almost as if the people that I affiliated myself with they found it as disrespectful or, or an objection to go against anything that they said or did you know what I'm saying and that's how they rule their power you know so it's kind of like <laughs> Imagine people in the world that have certain abilities that can feel energy moving all around them at all times. Even if they're focused on one certain thing, they can feel people moving, people talking, facial expressions, facial movements, right? So your energy is automatically di directed in that direction. And you see things. But you be quiet about them. Just imagine how many people in the world get away with shit because don't nobody say nothing. Everybody is quiet because of fear. You know what I'm saying? Their overall reason for that fear is due to maybe something affecting them or hurting them. You know what I'm saying? But it's kind of like when you went down the rabbit hole <laughs> of everything that you can imagine, it's almost as if, like, it's nothing else to lose now. You know what I'm saying? And me being quiet only affected me. Listen, me <laughs> being outside for a lot of my life, you got to understand, it's a lot of people that I've seen do some very slick things and do it so quick that you can barely even see them. Like, wouldn't nobody else notice what they were doing because they do it so quick? But when you have the ability to pinpoint movement, even when you're focused on something, you see it. By you not saying nothing, that person thinks that behavior is okay. And if they could do it to those people, what makes you think they're not doing it to you? You know what I'm saying? People operate in this world the way they feel they can get away with things. And it often comes from people not saying shit. Excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? Speak up. Say something. Let a person know, hey, look, you moving wrong. And oftentimes, those type of people, you know what I'm saying? They're either going to be receptive to someone catching them and finally getting caught. They're going to take accountability or they're going to make it seem as if you didn't see what you saw and get mad. And then those type of people, you just have to, you know what I'm saying, pull your energy away from them. Because if they really have a problem with you calling something out that they doing, that means they do it to everybody, even you. And because they made it such an issue means that you wasn't supposed to say nothing because it's been working for them for so long. And now that you said something, they're going to have a disagreement with everything you say. They're just going to get more slicker on what they do. Listen, I cannot. I cannot. Because that means that behind the scenes, you just get more smarter at doing something wrong so that you don't get caught. Because, see, look, listen, if you just really paid attention, it's a lot of people who do, you feel me, slick shit behind the scenes. And, and they are aware of the fact that people are so busy, engaged, or, you feel me, not in their right mind, that it's easier for them to get away with it. So ain't nobody paying attention. So it's easy for them to slither through the cracks. You know what I'm saying? Because they could either be more aware than you or, you know what I'm saying, smarter, not necessarily smarter, but move smarter than you at that period in time. 
You know what I'm saying? Because they had a hand on what they was doing. You know, listen, people's <laughs> negative spirits are so prevalent in the world right now, they will not go around people that could monitor them and be aware of their movements. You know what I'm saying? They'll stay away from people that have finally caught on to what they be doing. Because now they realize that they can no longer be, you know what I'm saying, slick with what they do. They're going to have to own up to that. You know what I'm saying? Because that person going to catch them. You know what I'm saying? So listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> For a long time in my life, I would be in social settings, social groups, and I wouldn't talk, I wouldn't say nothing, but I would see a lot of things going on that people miss because you too busy out of your mind. You know what I'm saying? You're not focused. You're not in touch with your spirit because your spirit is left somewhere doing something else. You know what I'm saying? Putting on a mask so you can't fully be aware of your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? Listen, it's was basically something that was used for years to try to keep people quiet so that they don't call out the foul shit that they be seeing. You know what I'm saying? If I have you scared or I put you in fear, I am able to get away with something that I know I'm not supposed to be doing because you will not say anything. You are too afraid to say anything, even though you know you've seen it even though you know you are aware that that person know you've seen it. They know, you feel me? They know. People are not dumb. You know what I'm saying? They only move that way when they feel like they can get over on everybody else or when everybody else is not being aware. It, it Listen, it be the craziest stuff you will never even know be happening if you just sit back and pay attention. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's... It's times where <laughs> it's kind of like people will do things intentionally to you knowing you're not going to say nothing. But they know that it's wrong, but they don't care. Because they know that by studying you and monitoring you this whole time, you ain't going to say nothing. You know what I'm saying? But it's kind of like even though people who don't say nothing see it, it ain't going to be too long before you're going to have to answer for that in the form of karma. It's going to come back and slap you in the face somehow, some way. It's just people be having it in their mind that it's not. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, why don't people just play it safe? But again, you know what I'm saying? People operate and do things that they see best fits themselves. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people just don't care. But... I'm at a point in my life where, you feel me, I'm able to own my emotions, own my feelings, and own my actions. So if I do something, it's a reason why I did it. And if you call me out, I'm going to tell you exactly why I did what I did. But oftentimes, it's not a lot of people that move like that. They have no real reason why they did what they did. They did it just because they knew that they can get over they knew that they could do that to people. It just goes to show how like people really have lost touch with themselves and others. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I, I've seen it happen right under my nose, boy. A sibling be janky to another sibling, and the sibling didn't even know because niggas was too high. That is, <laughs> it's sad. You know what I'm saying? You, and people just put up with it instead of saying something. Like, why are we operating in a world where when someone does wrong, or someone, you know what I'm saying, is not standing on their word, we don't say nothing. We just, you feel me, just let it be. That's crazy. Don't you think? That's insane. That's how you basically accustom yourself to being hurt. You accustom yourself to taking wrong treatment. And it's the truth. You basically teach people how to treat you. So if you allow people to do backwards ass stuff and you see it and you don't call it out or say nothing i almost guarantee you they're doing that same backwards stuff to you you know what i'm saying people be walking around here holding a lot of power and control especially when you don't say nothing you know what i'm saying they think they got the world in the palm of their hands it's like as long as you allow me to do to you what i want to do to you i'm gonna do whatever i want and i don't care if it hurts you 
Now, the day that you recognize it and say something will be the day I'll cut off all my activity. And I will no longer do to you what you've seen me do to you for years. You just never said nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like a, a reverse effect for me. You know what I'm saying? Because people are not used to being called out. People are not used to people pointing out their behavior. People are not used to, you know what I'm saying? Somebody speaking out about how they just did some, some excuse me, you know what I'm saying? Backwards ass shit. They hang around and associate themselves with people where they can do that because ain't nobody going to say nothing. Because everybody in that circle being backwards. You know what I'm saying? Listen, it's sad. But now it's coming to the conclusion where people are getting a chance to fully see on display. People are losing things. They're losing their status. They're losing their money. They're losing. And they're and they seeing that people ain't really for them like they thought they was. They were only for you because you held some type of power. Now that you ain't got it no more, you over there looking real naked. You know what I'm saying? And it make people depressed. They can't take it. So they do whatever they can to, you feel me, grab on to someone, please. Now is not the time to do that. If I were you, I would really focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because people are waking up to what's going on. You a soulless person. And really, you pretend. But you'll do anybody janky for your own benefit. That's cold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It stands the test of time. How you treat other people stands the test of time because it really shows how you treat yourself. If you treat people with respect and you don't let them get over on you and you stand up and you speak up, I'm almost certain that you protect yourself in the same way. But if you do not say anything and you just let people treat you any type of way, you do the same thing to other people. And those people allow you to do it because they do it to themselves. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm I'm so glad that I'm almost like completely cut off game strong. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's getting it's it's not getting to a point. It is at a point where that being nice, that finessing, people are so strong at doing that. I think everybody in the world kind of like finesse people. Just to be around them for real and have a good time and make them feel like they special but really be going home and they don't like themselves so they don't like nobody. That's sad. You know what I'm saying? Oftentimes it don't even seem like they like their own kids. You know what I'm saying? You just You just have to love them. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. The world is upside down and in turn and magnificent ways that everything is coming to the forefront i refuse you know what i'm saying I, my mind scans people when i'm in a big crowd i see things that most people would think people would miss and they probably do because they be under the influence but not me i'm gonna catch it and when i see it i'm gonna let you know that i seen that you know what i'm saying especially if it's something foul that's where most of the dirty work is being done you got to really, like, pay attention. You know what I'm saying? You ever wonder why when people go to the club, it's dark? N listen, because there's so much undercover stuff going on in the darkness, people can't even see to realize what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I remember when we used to go to parties when we was younger, everybody would have their cell phone light on to, so they could see. Because of the fact that we was in the darkness, you have no idea what's going on. Listen, it had been a couple of times you, a couple couples were actually in the party humping, but you would never know. You would think they was dancing because it's dark. You see the exchange of shots. You feel me on the low pills being ex all types of stuff going on that you can't even see because the lights is off. And then once you turn the lights on, you see the whole party for what it really is. You see people, some people's eyes get big as hell. You know what I'm saying? Because they really, we all the night activities. You feel me? Finessing and swindling and lying. You know what I'm saying? Listen, let me tell you something. That, that's, uh, I'm cool. <laughs> you feel me? I'm good. You feel me? Because, it, listen, again, if you surround yourself with good people and in your little vicinity, you know what I'm saying? And you know how those people operate. You feel me? You don't got nothing to worry about. But when you go somewhere with someone and you ain't really knowing the type of crowd they got around you and they just invite anybody and they don't even know the people, that's when you should be very worried. You know what I'm saying? People be really with everything these days because 
it's the more souls it has the more it thinks it's staying in power but it's not anymore you know what i'm saying it's time for the demons to go to sleep it's time for them to lay down they've been in power for too far too long and all it does is corrupt people against other people you ain't making nobody stronger you know what i'm saying you ain't making them try to elevate you know what i'm saying you just gonna make them drown in their own misery and why would you want to do that to people when they can have the ability to believe in themselves you know what i'm saying if they get down the basic principles and the basic rules stop finessing stop lying stop manipulating you know what i'm saying get your ass out in the in the light man you know what i'm saying listen for real operate with your head held high you feel me you got it for real but it's just crazy how growing up i have seen so many things that i didn't i know i didn't miss but to the normal average human being it's almost as like we may know that you know what i'm saying you know but we're gonna act like you don't know because we're not expecting you to speak up you know what i'm saying we're expecting you to be quiet because we've been monitoring your behavior your whole life and everything you saw you never spoke on it so now we're hoping that you never speak on nothing again and we're gonna do whatever we can to keep you quiet that energy is so strong you know what i'm saying they're almost banking on you being quiet and not saying nothing because they knew the day that you would finally get out of that you feel me would be the day and they're, they, they get afraid. They're not so much afraid no more because it's almost like, listen, no matter what, she's still being herself. We can't topple over that. You know what I'm saying? But you got to think about all the energies you grow up fighting because people have solely operated the world off of people being in a disguise. People not being able to speak up when they see something operating wrong. You know what I'm saying? They just allow it to happen. That's how a lot of dirty work is being done. That's how a lot of people get away with stuff because people will just be too afraid to say something. You know what I'm saying? I'm not afraid. I'm going to speak on it. I'm going to call it exactly how I see it so you can be aware of, you feel me, what you're doing. And then it creates more people to be aware of what's going on and speak up. And imagine how much of a change that makes versus everybody just being quiet every time they see something going on. I'll listen, listen. Shout out to the girl I was talking to from Stockton, man, when she told me about, you feel me, the two people that I that I had an association with, you feel me, was talking. I, the people would think, you feel me, what? That's some, it's not. You feel me? She was basically looking out. Like, you got to support that. You got to encourage that. You feel me? Because motherfuckers was trying to keep it a secret, for real. Like, just imagine what's kept a secret if you don't know. And then when you get in our faces, we don't pretend as if we don't know what's going on so that you never find out. It'd be a lot of sneaky stuff going on like that behind the scenes. And I'm only allowed to tell you what I want to tell you so that you'll never know. It, listen, it, that, it goes all the way down to, man, the biggest systems to the lowest ones. People just don't understand how much that happens in the world these days. The less I tell you and, and I tell you what I want to tell you and you only know what I want you to know, you can make a decision based off what I want you to know. Is it the whole truth? Is it really what's going on? No. But now I take what information I got from you and use it for my own benefit. And you don't even know because I told you what I wanted you to know, not the whole truth. And yeah, you may have saw something, but you was not uh, bold enough to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I, listen, I'm the type of person now. I'm ain't sh shit sliding past me. Excuse my language. I'm calling it exactly how I see it. You know what I'm saying? And if you choose to keep doing that, I'm just going to pull myself back. And you just going to have to catch that breath. You feel me? Because you still in your mind think it is okay to keep moving like that. So then when you get your karma, you want to find anybody to blame it on instead of blaming it on yourself. You know what I'm saying? I, I just tried to help you out a little bit. Me, I'm aware. When someone tell me, hey, you, hey. Tighten up. Okay. You feel me? You only telling me that to be wise. And I'm going to look at every angle of what I'm doing. And if it's beneficial, what you saying, you feel me? I'm going to put it into motion. 
So I can avoid that karma that comes after that. You feel me? But you, you got to really think about it. There's so many people out here faking, one-two stepping. They ain't really real for real. If you can't stand on your behavior, if you can't apologize for your backwards behavior, if you can't stand up and own the things that you do, you're not real. The only thing you're doing is copying what humanity is doing and pretending like you really that, and you're not. You're phony. You know what I'm saying? Because a real one is going to be able to take responsibility for their wrongdoings to make sure that they don't get that karma on the back end. It's real. So many people is not real. They are just soul takers. They have no problem with doing people wrong. They never intend on apologizing. They never intend on standing up and correcting their behavior. They just leave the person alone that they did wrong and move on to the next person. And if they can't get away with that, they move on to the next person. They never stand up to what they did wrong. And then they out here portraying like they this and that. I don't fall for it. It's fake. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. I listen. I'll be basically monitoring how a person, you know what I'm saying, moves every time we have an interaction. Now, if you were able to fool me for a long time, that is just me understanding that somewhere inside of me, I was also had that same thing. So it was easy to be fooled because I wasn't aware in what I needed to work on for myself. But as I spend more time with myself, I'm 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 getting up there. So I'm realizing right out the back, you ain't cool for real. You know what I'm saying? You know you ain't cool for real. You know you ain't cool for real, but you don't want anybody else to know you ain't cool for real. You feel me? It's listen, it's dangerous. I wouldn't play with it. If if you're not calling people out on them moving wrong, they moving wrong on you too. You know what I'm saying? And then it becomes a world where everybody just accept everybody moving wrong because don't nobody want to say nothing. Not today, not tomorrow, not a few months from now, not over here. So listen, it's time. You start speaking up and, and, and speaking on what you see. So if you don't know what it is, I just told you. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's time for the real. The fake getting old.